Hey everyone, it's Megan Trainer. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. I'm very excited. I have a new Christmas album coming out, A Very Trainer Christmas. And to celebrate, I'm with BuzzFeed today and we're doing a bunch of holiday quizzes. If you wanna try taking the quizzes, the link is right here down below. Click it, it's really fun. It's really fun to find out what kind of cookie you are. I'm so excited. The first quiz I'm gonna take is which Christmas food has to go? Okay, the first question, which Christmas food must go? We got Yule Log, Christmas Pudding, Penetone, Penetone. I'm not this bougie. I don't, I don't see any of these in my Christmas table. I can't pronounce that one, so I'm gonna pick Penetone. Oh, I picked a good one. Everyone said 48% said that one's gotta go. Roast turkey, roast beef, roast pork with crackling. These are so fancy. The, honestly, the roast pork on the right looks pretty yummy. Roast turkey's a must. I'm gonna go roast beef. 28% average. Potatoes, stuffing, and pigs in a blanket. These are all excellent. If I was stranded on an island and I had to pick one to go, I'm picking stuffing to go. Cause pigs in a blanket, too good. Potatoes are a must. I'm an average gal, 40% of you, okay mince pies, candy canes, and Christmas cookies. Well, I need Christmas cookies. It's a need and I need candy canes. So I'm gonna pick mince pies. I'm also not this fancy, don't have this food. 61%, does this mean I'm like normal? Mulled wine, eggnog, and peppermint hot chocolate. She is pregnant, so we don't get to have none of this, but peppermint hot chocolate looks good. Eggnog is good. Mold wine, I'm sure, is lovely. I've never had it. I'm gonna pick that one. I'm an average gal. 38% of us agree. We have gravy, bread sauce, and cranberry sauce. I've never had bread sauce. I like bread and I like sauce, but that's, that doesn't make sense to me. I'm gonna pick bread sauce. 69%, hello. Trifle? Christmas cake and pavlova. Never had any of these in my life. I mean, Christmas cake, it's just like a good cake. Bye pavlova. I was right, 47% say bye pavlova. Roast chestnuts, nut roast, or clementines. Love a clementine, love nuts. What's a nut roast? What is that, you sprinkle that? Mm, it's gotta go, 61%. This is the last one, which Christmas food must go? We're at chocolates, oof celebrations. Why am I so lame that I don't even know these? Selection boxes. Oh, chocolate event calendars are so good. We're keeping those. We're keeping the celebrations because they just look like good packaging. Selection boxes. Oh. I was pretty accurate, pretty normal gal. Nothing crazy for Christmas, but also we gotta get fancier on our desserts. We gotta learn how to bake. So my next quiz I'm gonna do is, are these Christmas songs great or totally awful? Jingle Bells. I mean, this is a delight. I love this song. 39% people are kind of over it, okay. We wish you a Merry Christmas. That's a yes. These are like, I'm in school. We're singing them in the classroom. We're having a good time. We wish you a Merry You know what? Eh, you're fine. 57%. Okay, I'm getting this. I'm getting this. Deck the halls. Deck the halls. I'm house of holly. Kind of annoying. Like if there was an annoying button, I'd pick this. But I have no strong feelings either way. I love these answers. <laughs> 56%. Silent night. It's a classic. It's very good. I covered this on my album. Check it out. I'm gonna say I love this song. It's so beautiful. That's the button I'm gonna click. Aha, we all love it. 55%, yes. The next one is Frosty the Snowman. It's a classic. It's not annoying at all. I'm gonna say yes. A lot of mez, a lot of mez out there. 46 mez, but like 40% yes. So we're right there. We're holding on strong. Have yourself a Merry Little Christmas. Another very well-written song. Great lyrics, great melodies. Another one I covered on my Christmas album. Check it out, my holiday album. I'm gonna say, I love this song, exclamation point. 58%, Ugh, thank God, okay. All I want for Christmas is you, get out of here. This song is perfect. Praise be to Mariah. This is the best answer. I'm gonna pick the first one, this song is perfect. 76%, she'll never lose, she's the best. She's the queen of all Christmas. White Christmas, I love this song. I wonder how people think about this song. I really like this song. Another one I covered, featuring Seth MacFarlane. This song is lovely, 51%. Oof. 
Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, another tune on my cool album. I'm going to say, because I had my cousin's feature on it, it was so sweet and adorable. I'm going to say it's so good, 42%, but it's okay, because like I would not go out of my way to turn it off. It's 49%. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. So good. It's like the jingle bells, but it rocks. A++. I'm picking that, 63%. Last Christmas, another one I did. Yes, this one's perfect. A true classic, R.I.P. George Michael. 100% every single day. 70%. That's my mom's favorite. Rockin' around the Christmas tree. So good. I'm gonna say this song rules. 56%. Feliz Navidad. Yeah, that's great. This song is wonderful. That's the only time I feel like, oh, I'm singing Spanish. Wonderful. 54%. Look at that. The 12 Days of Christmas. Very interesting, cool song that is very impressive. As a songwriter, it's very impressive. No one could pull that off today ever. Do I want to sing it all day long? No. Why? Why would anyone write a song like this? <laughs> Oh, I kind of want to hit that button. It's hard. I'm going to say it's okay, I guess, because I feel bad. Oh, 46%. The most. Okay. We're all the same. Santa Claus is coming to town. Yeah, this one's great. This tells you the rules of how Christmas works. Very clear. Oh, yeah, baby. That's what I'm hitting. 54%. I'm just like everybody else. Winter Wonderland. This one's so good. I covered this one as well with my ukulele. Played it before I got the claws on. Lovely tune, a true classic. I'm hitting that. 63%. It's the most wonderful time of the year. That one's pretty good. I tolerate it. I loathe it. I tolerate it. 32%. <laughs> What's in? Silver Bells. I forgot about this song too. How does it go besides Silver Bells? Silver Bells? I'm gonna do the cute little eh, and we're correct. 55%. I saw Mommy Kissing Santa Claus. I don't like the message of this song. <laughs> This song is bad and this kid is a creepy. I'm gonna say this song is bad. 37%, 38% say, sigh, I can deal with it. I don't like the message of it. I saw mom cheating on dad with Santa. Oh, dad Santa. <coughs> oh, I'm so embarrassing. You know what, now it's cute. Last quiz I'm taking. Eat your way through this holiday buffet and we'll reveal which type of cookie you are. I had to do this because I know, I feel like I'm a sugar cookie. It's gotta be sugar cookie. First, load your plate with an entree. Turkey, ham, lasagna, yes, yes, yes. Steak, salmon, stuffed mushrooms. See, I'm the gal that will pick all of these and will make the cutest little plate of all entrees. I pick ham. Pick your first side dish. Green bean casserole, nah. Brussels sprouts, oh. mashed potatoes, always. Cranberry sauce, eh. Macaroni and cheese and bread with butter. Well, that's hard. I would do macaroni and cheese, bread with butter, Brussels sprouts, mashed potatoes, but I'll just pick one, mashed potatoes. Pick another side dish, here we go. Mixed green beans, mashed potatoes, peas, pasta. Oh, my plate would be so dirty if I really had these options. Garlic mashed potatoes, what? Or cooked carrots. Okay, I'm gonna try to look like a better person, so I'm gonna pick cooked carrots. Choose something for dessert. Well, brownies, red velvet cake, chocolate cake, vanilla cupcake, cheesecake. Not a big cheesecake gal. Fruit cake. Ooh. My wedding cake was a red velvet cake because it's delicious. It was one of my cakes. I also had Oreo ice cream because I'm bougie. Okay, I'm going to pick red velvet cake. Now, you know you want a cookie too, so pick one. I've never had a gingerbread cookie. That sounds sad. Crushed candy cane cookie. Never had that. Sugar cookie. Yes, yeah, my main. Peanut butter chocolate. Meh. Green and red M&M cookies. Adorable, but meh. Jam thumbprint cookie. That looks too fancy for me. Mm -mm. I'm going sugar. Choose a holiday drink. I won't be allowed to have because I'm pregnant. Champagne gives me headaches. Red sangria. Don't know if I've ever had it. Spiked eggnog. I had it once, it was fine. I don't wanna know what's in that. Hot toddy, love. Didn't know that was a Christmas thing. I just had them like all the time. Mold wine again, I don't know what that is. Moscow mule, oh that's if you're like going out to the clubs all night. I'm gonna do a virgin hot toddy. Finally, what topping do you inevitably have to scrape off your plate back at the table? Okay, I didn't wanna eat that. We got tomatoes, lettuce, cilantro, thyme, basil, or mushrooms. So I'm gonna pick tomato, cause I don't see that being in anything. So I'm gonna pick an easy one. I'm a snickerdoodle. They look bomb. I could, I can get into that. You're a snickerdoodle cookie. You have an incredibly big heart. I love this. You're constantly making sure everyone around you feels included and welcome. How do they know? You love throwing parties. 
No, because it gives you a chance to have your various friend groups meet. Oh, you're empathetic, caring, and sincere. This is so accurate. It's insane. Oh my God, this is so nice. I'm a snickerdoodle. What's up? Wow, I loved these tests. I can't stop smiling. My cheeks hurt. That was so sweet and fun. Don't forget, I got a holiday album coming out. A very train of Christmas. Thank you, BuzzFeed, for the support and love. And thanks for letting me take your quizzes.